people get mad at me all the time driving. I always like people as I'm pulling off, <laughs> I hear like, and yeah. I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> Is, oh. Oh, 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 watch out. Sorry. Okay, so today's Monday. Um, it's been a long weekend. So yeah, Thanksgiving happened. This light is all fucked because I'm shooting all over the place in here. Uh, so yeah, Thanksgiving happened. Uh, it was great. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Thanksgiving. Um, or not. I mean, whatever. Shout out. Just whatever. I hope everybody had a good day. So today is kind of crazy. I have a ton of shoes coming in the mail. I have a massive box of shoes. This week is just shoe crazy, I think, really. Like everything should come in this week. It's nuts. Um, as you guys know, a ton of stuff released over the last couple of weeks, and I bought almost all of it. So yeah, a lot of shit coming in. Pretty much, I'm starting off today's vlog with a little bit of bad news for some people. Um, if you follow my Twitter or Snapchat, you might already know. London Sneaker Con and Berlin Sneaker Con. London is literally like next weekend, like the second or something. And Berlin is the weekend after that, like the ninth. Tickets booked to both. I had planned on being at both. Um, and I just, I have to cancel. Like I cannot make it. And the reasons that I can't make it, it's not because I obviously I have tickets and I've been planning on it and everything, but like I can't catch up. Like personally, with having to design merch, uh, be on social media all day, do what I need to do every day, vlog, can't even get to the tattoo shop. Like my time is becoming less and less and less available. If I go to London and if I go to Berlin, basically, Everything here just suffers. Shipping suffers. Designs won't get done in time. My print shop will be stressed out. My packing people will be shipped. Like everybody will be stressed out. I have to get merch to London, get merch to Berlin. It's just like so much stuff. Like there's a ton of moving parts to all of this. It's not just like, hey, print a shirt, let's go. Like there's a lot of stuff. And I take a lot of time to work on designs and like work on making sure everything looks cool and it's like cohesive. And the way I want it, let's just, just stuff, you know, like stuff in my brain. Yeah, unfortunately, just like Memphis, Sneaker Con, I'm going to have to cancel London and Berlin. I need to stay home. Uh, New York City is literally in two weeks. I'm not even prepared for that. So I'm going to prepare for New York City and prepare for um, all the other stuff that I have coming and just the stuff that I want to work on. So love sneaker con, love everybody at sneaker con. Just cannot make every single one all the time. That's it. I'm sorry for those of you in London. Uh, I'm sorry for those of you in Berlin. I'm really sorry because I've never been there. I promise this this summer I'm gonna try and do like a tour situation, like a pop up shop tour slash tattoo tour. Um, I'm even gonna try and get back into the shop like one to two days a week because I miss being at the tattoo shop and tattooing. I'm just trying to find the balance in all of this. And I'm just trying to make sure that I take care of the stuff that I need to take care of. As much fun as it is to go to Sneaker Con and see all of you guys, it's really exciting and it obviously makes me feel great, but I can't just chase the feeling of feeling great versus my responsibilities. So um, I just gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do. So that's it, that's how we're starting off the day. Today's crazy, speaking of which, Ernie's on the way here, Sager's on the way here because we have to have a meeting because we just have, there's so much shit coming down the pipeline. And uh, Windbreakers dropped yesterday, if you missed it. There's actually still some left online because uh, as you know, we've been in a um, like money gauntlet. It's just been nuts this whole November. I think all of us have probably spent more money than we care to. For those of you that cop the windbreaker, thank you very much. For those of you that wanted it and had to pass, um, I, I totally understand, like totally. If I could have pushed them back even further, I would have, but we also have a schedule. And for those of you that didn't want them at all, I can't do anything about your taste level. So um, yeah, all right, cool, so I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, Sager's gonna come over, Ernie's gonna come over, we're gonna get some work work stuff done. I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna look like. I got a ton of shoes coming in the mail, so at least be an unboxing. I don't know, the future is bright, all right. Oh, and I will be in New York City. I booked my ticket for New York, I said that, all right. All right. Made a bet, lost a bet, who's calling? Hey Paul, how's it going? Paul. I think it is, and Chris can look at that again in person. Where are we going to lunch? I don't know. I don't know. Where are we going to lunch? Lost. Um, we gotta take this wild man somewhere. Well, let's take him first. This one's like I was ran out of traffic yesterday, actually. Really? They're like playing with the ball in the front yard or whatever over there. Yeah. It bounced, like he hit it and it bounced and normally he'll just stop it. And yeah. Like running after it and I was like, I was like, oh! Like I yelled loud as fuck and he just went. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I told my whole life story on the live stream this morning. Oh man, sounds great. Did you leave out the part where you were born in fucking Jersey or what? <laughs> no, yeah. You made up. I want to go watch it now and hear all the bullshit lies. Your whole life story. How long did that take? Ten don't minutes. They, don't they like cut off after like 30 minutes? Like story time with her. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was in New York. I was rocking Tim's. <laughs> I was rocking Tim's and the triple fat goose. No, I, I made the, fun of myself. I had the brand new red, red New York Yankees fitted. I show up outside of Bubba Gump's in the Hard Rock Cafe. I just talk to these girls. I'm like, yo, 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 what you want? What you want? <laughs> Chicken poppers? I got you, boo. I got you. Got you. Don't even think about it. Don't. Hey! Omar? Who's he calling? That girl. Oh. Yes, good man. Oh, yes, good man. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Take good a breather, man, Omar. Omar. Take a breather. Yes. Now look how bad he wants it, dude. He's hooked. Yes! I don't know what it is, dude. I'm like, I've been in a fucking different world. I don't know what it is either. I don't it's know like a, either, looks dude. Looks like an antenna. You no, know it looks like a battery pack with mini lights. They look like they would light up. It has maybe. batteries to it, but I, I thought it was. I'm good. Out. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Take it easy. Y'all will put some batteries in this bitch, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe you have some lights. I'm looking at it like a little fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how, like, simply you can trick them into thinking something's valuable. Like the frisbee, he didn't care about. Within like two or three times of trying to steal it from him, then it becomes like the illest toy in the world to him. Any toy, really. You create the value. Hmm. Now apply that to your own life. UPS truck. We just had to come back and get the. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's us. That big ass box right there. Back. We realized we didn't have the camera. Jesus. We you. realized we didn't have the camera. And we realized that because Ern was telling a story about how last night. Now, what happened last night? Just I was walking my dog and a guy on a bike pulled right up to me, got off his bike, and he said, hey man, do you know somewhere warm to sleep tonight? Ern thought that that was interesting. He was like, that's really weird. Like, what did he expect? Like, like where would I tell him to sleep? Not being rude, but am I gonna say, hey, sleep him? Like, why would you ask somebody where to sleep? Right. I, I, I have nothing to offer you. Right. So my response was, do you think that he maybe thought you too were also homeless? And, and I started thinking it's possible I had a beat up hoodie on. I had like sweatpants. I had my dog with me. Did Maya have a hanky? She had a little there? red bow tie. Oh, yeah. Because cause Brandy put it on for Christmas, so people probably think it's like my little... Yeah, that's amazing. So, yeah. But now we're headed to the weed shop. Yeah. Sagers are in late, so the meeting is taking place later in the afternoon, which makes the day kind of crazy, but that box makes waiting back there makes it a little bit happier. So We got a shit ton of weed. If I got hit with the camera, that would've been great for the yeah, vlog. Oh God, I can't even ask for like a better. As long as you didn't die. Yeah. Like just a nice little clip. Nice little poop poop. That's good French dude. Yeah, do you want some chicken? Yeah. Two soup cups, bottle of Coke. I got a Perrier. Uh, one bag of chips, because I have a uh, chip and drink combo nice. to save you guys some money. Uh, I got a roast beef large, I got bacon on that, and then I have another bag of chips. Does that that's sound, good. sound good? Yeah. All right, it's gonna be 2884. Sure, it's got bacon on it. Sandwich, sandwich rating. What do you give it? Well, it's so hard. It I mean, it's a good sandwich. I've had many better sandwiches. Yeah, that was a good sandwich. It's like a five. <laughs> five. Hello? Yeah, I have the label printed that I'm just waiting on whoever to pick it up, yeah. Hey, you're switching the teal and then you still need to charge me for the tan. And just like that, folks, he secures right, yeah. yet another two pairs of human races. This guy is unstoppable. I need to pick up about eight pairs. Cool. Uh, He's got two more right now. 
My man just gets on the phone to cops, out at lunch, cops, buying weed, cops. And the deal is done. Or else. Vacation. What up, man? We didn't even know this was here, and we like really? walked, we were eating lunch, and I was like, oh shit, I was like, the Purple Haze are right oh, here. What up, fam? What up? Okay, so it's gonna debut, the brand new Purple Haze. Hey, it's hey, out hey. here, come visit, come downtown, get yourself a sandwich. Get that sandwich place next door. Stacked? Let's give the sandwich one to ten. I don't eat meat anymore, oh, so mind. I haven't eaten the sandwich. There's hey, salad. Did you enjoy the uh, vegan episode? <laughs> I, I did, I did. <laughs> um, I've been eating fish, okay. but just no meat. Okay. No meat or dairy. Yeah, my friend does that. That's pretty fucking ballsy though, because you're up in the mountains eating fish, but no... I pay a hefty price yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which flavor do you want? Um, the honey one's fine. Have you tried the grape one, Jeff? I have. I don't really like the grape ones. Okay. They have the regular size Dutchess, huh? Yeah, you do. They have them right there in the two packs, the Palmas. Oh, oh that's oh, cool. Oh shit, put this on his fucking tab too. It's the least you can do. What is that? Cool, son! No, this is going on the tab. No, I didn't this, say you're, this you're buying. Oh, that this I'm buying. This you're actually buying because you steal so many lighters and this one's magnetic. Every time you light a blunt, it goes back on the refrigerator. All right. You heard? There's no excuse. It's like, like that dude is a, that dude was literally just riding my ass. And then when I slowed down, almost hit my fucking bumper. Beefing with the motorcyclists? Fuck these dudes. What do you think about motorcycles? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Look at the streets. I'm damn, sure. girl, god damn. Damn, did you see her? Yeah, she looked like a gypsy. She was fairy. a fucking gypsy blazing hottie. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. I think she magically just appeared. Yeah, I feel like I imagined her. Like a little fairy angel gypsy. That was crazy. She was banging though. Right? She's the eye. Mm. I'm gonna turn the camera off. <laughs> what, was, she, was she banging or what? I don't know. Mm. Hold this, I'm gonna get over my shoulder and then I'll take it back. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, no problem. That's it. I got two pairs in here. Kind of shoes you cop, dog. That's how we cop shoes. Yeah, that's how we cop shoes. <laughs> All right, so today we've got shoes. Let me get my uh, boost blade right away. Right away, big man. I'm the brick of wheat. I'll put this brick in your face. Two ounces, son. UK cheese. Not the most impressive looking buds right there, but. No, but it smells good. It does smell amazing. Dude. Hater OG. It also smells really good. Ernie finally got himself a grinder, so he no longer has to use a piece of plastic. So that's for, that's for you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and then the most important purchase: the lighter that you cannot steal. Where's he from? <laughs> Jersey too. Oh, look at this <laughs> fucking magical box. See you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> First pair is for you, sir. Nice up. Size 11 for Sager. Oh, he sent me these anyway. <laughs> he didn't even need these. Yeah, I told him I didn't need these. What size? 13, the Gore-Tex. They'll probably fit. Let me try them on in a minute when we're done with this. Uh, I, 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 yeah. These are yours. It's for you. I'm gonna go ahead and put this with your stack here. Well, just so there you go. Because I can't, I'm gonna need a week or two on that. I don't care. Trails. Another black pair. Black, the other black pair that came, I have to send back. Really? I actually need to give that to you. Yeah, I need to send it back to them because they exchanged it for me. How did you get an exchange out of human rights? Uh, whoo! Nice. Yeah, we're shooting these. <laughs> yeah, you've decided. These are nice. I like this colorway a lot. No extra lights on this one. Really? Wait. Oh yeah, this comes from, I was about to say, why did I? Nice. Yes, pair of them. Be the other multicolor. Nice. And then we're still waiting on the tans. We're waiting on two pairs of tans. Yep. We got Easy Boost. Easy Boost. Number one, this should be the Beluga, I would say. Frozens. Nice. Those are fire. Nulugas. Nice. I like this color. It's a completely different color than the other beluga. Oh yeah, he's much crazy. grayer. Yeah, people are crazy. It's fucking grail unboxing. Yeah. Nice. Now I gotta decide what the street. 
Let's roll blunt and figure it out. Gun for him. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean, they are a little loose, but they're totally comfortable. Well, if you put on winter socks, though. Yeah. No, these are fine, dude. Eh, a little baggy. There's a little baggy in this thing. Where's your tail? Right there? Yeah. Winter socks will be fine, but it's up to you. The three cob. Boost collection is rising, so I'm about to be up to Dude, 40. we gotta do the collection about video, because I'm 40. almost at 40. We're almost at 40 pairs. Kids are asking. We'll unlock your collection video at 40 pairs. Oh, God. That's how we do it. So, y'all, those yeah. of you who want to see it. Yeah, donate. My PayPal is all that disruptive. These are for sale now. 3,200, they could be yours. Uh, Barely worn. Let's get it. They're not boost. Long end to the short end. They ain't boost. Call me. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing? The sound of this grinder's got a lot. Yeah. Hey, he's got the Dutchies. Now you take the Dutch. Oh God, you want me to do this? Take the double techs off. Who like it if you didn't chew this box up? You know, you're so cute. Make sure you put enough in there. That's. You like to skimp. <laughs> I call you skimp dog. Yeah, this is pretty Old good. Old skimpy. Motherfucker used to sell fucking 2.9s. Old fucking Ernie short bags. <laughs> Hey, old Ernie Light Sack. All right. Sounds light. a little different. <laughs> yeah. Old Light Sack Ernie. Hey, it's Light hey. Sack Ernie. Pinch off the top, Ernie. The bag is never quite full. <laughs> hey, is that glass, is that bag half empty or half full? It's half empty. 50 bucks. <laughs> hey, that's not bad for you. The pressure. The pressure of being in the movies has changed you. Mm -hmm. Mike's been off all day. No, it has not. So I had to come grab the camera because we need a little update on the blunt. He did roll wood, it is true, but this is maybe the smallest. It's a little tiny Dutch bastard, a little baby Dutch. Yeah. It's a little Chico stick. Looking like a twig. Tasting good though. Tastes just like a tobacco wrap. It don't taste like no weed. And he tastes no cheese, none of them bread. <laughs> okay, so shoes today. Uh, finally, we're gonna take a look at the NMD City Sock. So, well, NMD CS1, good lord, focus. NMD CS1 Gore-Tex PK S13. So these came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm pretty sure the official, yeah, they came out a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago. Um, these already went on sale. I've seen them as low as like 130 already, which is like I think half price. These are either 230 or 260. I can't really remember, honestly. I, I don't know, but yeah, they're already out. You can get them on sale already because they did not go crazy. Mostly, I would say, because everything else in November was crazy. Um, but yeah, as far as the shoe goes, first off, right off the bat, they do not get wet when they get put in water. Like you literally can walk through water and not feel a single bit of moisture in your shoe. It's just straight up that good. Gore-Tex is amazing, waterproof, windproof, um, and breathable, and this is literally no different. They're they're kind of amazing. Even like right now holding them, this is the one that was in the water, it dries off so quick, like it's not wet at all. So like maybe if you squeeze it, they're amazing. So it's, as far as keeping the water out. These would be definitely be awesome to wear in the snow. I kind of can't wait to go and just like beat them up in the snow. A lot of people already asked me like, would I, dude, get out of here. Would I prefer these or the mids that are waterproof or like the Ronnie Feig trails? And these so far I would say are as far as a PK shoe on your feet out in the winter, this is probably your winner. I think that the mids are nice and I think that they're probably gonna keep your foot a little bit warm, but I don't think it's gonna be like this. Like Gore-Tex is no joke. It's like, yeah, I think the Gore-Tex is your go-to go -to if you're gonna be walking in snow. So this is like the best of both worlds because last year a lot of us were complaining that there were no real NMDs or Ultra Boosts that we wear in the winter and this year they've definitely upped that. We have quite a few models that you could wear. Yeah, right now I'd say this is your top one if you're not gonna wear a boot. So it's an all white and gray upper city sock pattern where three different panels that go three different directions. Actually a fourth panel if you count back. Yeah, so it's just like other city socks in the way that it looks. PK on the outer, the all outer is all PK. The real big difference is there is essentially a Gore-Tex liner throughout the entire shoe. The only part that's not Gore-Tex lined is the very top collar is not lined, but everything else has a Gore-Tex lining in it. Basically makes for an inner sheath, if you will, um, inside the shoe, which completely changes how it fits. So it doesn't move with your foot the same as like a, well, it does still move with your foot, but it's not as comfortable and as light. So without Gore-Tex, you know, it's very form-fitting and very sock-like and moves with your foot. This moves with your foot, but there's a little bit of resistance just because you have two layers and one of those layers is Gore-Tex. It's definitely gonna be a little bit more stiff than you're used to at first. They tend to break in, loosen up, and um, they've been great. So I'd really like to revisit these after the winter season and see how they get broken in and see how much I like them. I think this is a shoe that 
At first, I first put them on because they're hard to get on. They've gotten easier to put on each time. Um, I got a little bummed and didn't think these are going to be as cool as I'd hoped. But functionality wise, I think they're going to be great and I'll be able to test that out pretty soon. So yeah, but all white and black upper. You have your regular city sock pattern, PK collar, extra long, I feel like extra long uh, heel tab, which is needed for how hard these are to put on the first time. Black boost, black bricks, black sole, black MD sole. Uh, and then of course, no insole. And you kind of see the cortex in there, but no removable insole. So do not size down in my opinion. I would say go true to size. A lot of people size down in NMDs and city socks, but in my opinion with this Gore-Tex lining, I don't really feel like you get that same amount of room um, but you know, you never know. Um, but we're all different. My feet are big, size 13. And I could probably squeeze into a 12 and a half, but I think if I'm wearing winter thick socks with this, 13 is gonna be about perfect, so. NMD Gore-Tex, these should be out. There's a black colorway as well. It's just black with white boost. So basically like a flip flop of this one. Like I said, you can find them for under retail right now. So, but yeah, Gore-Tex city sock, I'm hyped. I'm looking forward to frolicking in the snow with these upon my feet. Oh. But yeah, that's today. We got a ton of shoes to look at this week, like everyday shoes. Got a bunch of stuff in, I gotta catch up on. Still a bunch of stuff coming up. Well, AI all shipped today. Pretty sure everything shipped today. There may be a couple of things going out tomorrow. Another AI drop coming soon. Motherfucking New York Sneaker Con. There's all kinds of shit going on. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get to work because I'm still waiting on Sager for our meeting that was supposed to take place at 10 o'clock this morning. It's now like six. Um, he's, had got, he's got a lot going on. So um, yeah, now I'll wait on Sager and edit the vlog. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.